In this video, I attempt to program a pools closed clone before the real pools closed crashes. Can I muster the spaghetti code energy and take the cake? Only time will tell. Before we begin, videos like this one are only possible thanks to the support from our patrons. If you enjoy the free content and want to help keep the lights on, consider helping us out at patreon.com slash soulcube. Let's get into the video. Alright, to get started, we need a list of things to do. So we need a player that moves, shop that spawns random towers. Towers? I'm gonna go with three is probably the best we're gonna get here. Enemies that follow a path. Oh, and because the enemies need to, they need to drop currency. Bench. Alright, quick, let's get going. Import, 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 import. Oh my god. Uh, player. Oh no, I don't want that. No, I don't want the animations. <gasps> Where's the normal enemy? Fat kid down. That's a that's an enemy. That's fine. This one, uh, this one, uh, this one. It's fine. All right. Next. Uh, player, player. That's what we want. Is it a normal? What is this? Why is it not showing the previews? Just you down by whatever. We're just getting a single frame of that. Uh, is that all we need? What else is on the list? Uh, shop, 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 shop. We might as well go to the shop. Teen. Is that what it is? Yeah, canteen. Here we go. Uh, canteen. Oh, we need the tiles. We need the ground tiles too. We might as well make the whole thing grass, I reckon. Player, this is the player. No, we need to splice it. No, that's just the top half of him. Oh my god, we need to splice both parts in together. Player, player, player. We need legs. Legs, run left. Le oh, this is gonna be look awful. Where are we? Automatic cell count. How much we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, eight? Was that eight or nine? Eight? No, nine. Oh, wait. Eight? Eight? Is that right? I think so. <sighs> Wave 12. Oh, alright, here we go. Player. Quick, quick, quick. Ah! Visual Studio, come on. Uh, here we go. If input dot get key down key. Oh no, yeah, key code. No key. Just get key. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, and now let's duplicate this. All of them. If we go D, that's right. B ten is that fast? Let's see. Oh my god. Come on, come on. That's so far. Oi! I'm in the middle of the challenge, bro. <laughs> I'm running out of time, bro. Hi, uh, I don't think you guys would would know me. Name's Fucus. Uh, this a hundred dollar Lego boat. Water. If it works. Is it like a motor boat? No, it's just a f Lego boat. Enjoy, this, enjoy the. This is a pilot video. All right, and we are back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Back. What the heck were we doing before we left? I don't remember. Oh, getting the movement. All right, the movement worked. All right, so we can move. Now we need to be able to get the enemies to move. I reckon. Fat kid down. This. Any trick? Boom. Animation. An enemy. Wave number. We're literally just going to increase the amount by one every time. I, I cannot. Oh no, we'll do it exponentially. When we spawn a new wave, we want to spawn dudes based on the wave number squared. Then we want to spawn that many. All right, new wave. So we're going to have to do that. So uh, we're going to need a, a finish wave. Oh, we need to be able to track when the wave is finished. So we're actually going to need to add these dudes to a list. Oh, we can just have a count. Of it. Uh, we'll just go, we'll reset the enemy count. Oh, shit, what the hell? All right, enemy count will be. Oh, when we when we do that, we go at the enemy. What did I call it? Oh, I didn't put the thing in. Enemy count. Enemy count. I'll just reset it. Then we have our enemy count. So then we need the enemies when they die. They need to do a thing. Also, when they get to the end. So we need to add a. F we're gonna add the stuff to the to the to the enemies now. Okay, so we need a. Uh, public, public, uh, so every, we want to be moving transform dot, uh, move, uh, what is it? Transform dot position equals vector to, vector two dot move towards, what do we need? We need our current position. We need a target position, which is, oh my God. Uh, what do we call it? Target. Oh, see, I spell instance wrong and it's going to. What did I do? I'm changing it now. I'm, is that right? Instance, public static GM. Did I do something wrong? Target. What did I, what did I call? End pause, that's why. Okay. 
Move towards at the end, pause, and then what? The message intel, okay, that has to be public void, uh, reach end. So this is gonna happen when we get to the end. How are we gonna track that? If the, uh, oh yeah, then we'll just go, if, this is not efficient at all. If the vector two dot distance between us and the, uh, the, the end pause, and pause is greater than is this return the absolute value uh i don't know uh and pause the position so we get the distance between them that's fine then we'll reach the end when we reach the end we need the our count to go down what the hell count any count goes down um and then oh, we need to call a function on this <laughs> Okay, uh, and instead of doing that, we're just called, uh, what, what do we call it? Enemy something, remove enemy. Oh, reach the end, if the position there is there, 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 and then we start a new wave and we increment the wave count. Have we done everything? Uh, let's go have a look. How are we looking for time? What's the game looking like? Wave 24, uh, okay. All right. The, it, it bricks. I don't know, we've had varying results for when it bricks. Um, okay, speed. We just do like 0 0.05 or something, I don't know. Do we need to send anything here? Uh, oh yeah, we need the start, pause and stuff. All right, so start, pause. Let's give it a gizmo so I can see it. Start, pause, up here. We need the camera to follow the player too. It's fine, I'm literally just gonna like like lock it to the player. It's not gonna like have a smooth thing or anything. It's gonna look awful, but you know, whatever. Start. Pause and pause enemy prefab. We need to turn this into a prefab. Screw folders. Perfect. All right, let's see. What happens? What happens? What happens? What happens? What happens? Uh, nothing happened. Oh, because we never call the function to test it. All right, so that's just when we start, we'll go a new way. All right, it's going to do it. And he is, uh, something's happening. What's happening here? They spawning and instantly dying straight away. Am I checking from the distance between the wrong spot? Or do I put the wrong sign in? If the distance is greater, no, it should be less. I apologize to all of you who saw that as I wrote it. Um, but that's, we are rushing. Okay, cool. And then he runs, 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 he runs gets to the end. And it spawns another one, but it's only spawned, it's only spawning one. Are we, in, are we incrementing the wave count? I can't remember. Are we not doing that? New wave. Oh yeah, on the wave count. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Wave count, wave number, uh, plus, plus. Okay. Uh, they don't have hitboxes, so they're probably going to be on top of each other. We won't be able to see it, but in the hierarchy we should be able to see more of them spawning um hopefully yes look at that now we got there going exponentially uh, then we need let's just make this camera follow the player right now let's just test it first all right so we need the player in the offset, we need to be out on the Z by 10. The Z, I apologize. All right, cool, that, that's fine by me, that's fine. It's not centered, that's fine by me, I don't care. All right, now we need to be able to get the towers working. So let's get a tower in. Uh, where's a tower, here we go, here's a tower. We're gonna have a, a physics circle around them and they're gonna get a list of all the things in there and then they're just gonna pick the first one and they're just going to lock onto that as the target. Layer mask. Oh, come on, go! Layer mask. Uh, oh wait, no, no, it should, I should be doing collider, 2D col equals overlap circle. What do we need? We need Show me. All right, we need the position, the radius. Oh, we need our stats. Okay, so public. Okay, uh, transfer position, uh, we need our range. Then what do we need? We need a layer mask, which is the enemy layer. All right, so we're only gonna be getting enemy stuff from the enemy layer. Then we're gonna go, call, oh, we're gonna go current, oh, we go, if there is an enemy, then we're gonna go the current target equals um call dot get component oh yeah get component enemy grab the enemy cool once we do that uh else we're gonna have uh oh you know we'll just we'll, we'll just do the code in here <laughs> there we go 
then the current time to do tax wants to go back to the start time between attacks. So I think if time attacks actually based on the rate of fire, right? It would be one over the rate of fire. Or the rate of fire no one over the rate of fire. How many times Open up. Who who is this? It's a lack of audience engagement. Nobody's gonna watch this crap for another ten minutes. Huh. Alright. 